Hi, my name is Kevin Blanks. Today, I'm going to talk about the debt. We hear so much political spew out there that's going crazy and all this venomous about the debt, the deficit. I'm going to try to clarify it, try to take the politics out of it, and so you can kind of understand what it is, what it's about, in real basic, easy to understand terms that a third grader could understand. Because I think that's what we've gotten to in this country. This country has gotten so retarded when it comes to anything you got to think about. It's absolutely pathetic. I mean, uh, the famous uh, English professor at NYU, I watched her speak about politicians and people having to dummy them down the way they talk to people. And she went off on it. I'm crazy about it. And I totally agree with her. Yeah, uh, Barack Obama said that he was talking over people's head and he had to go down and use the word votes. And you know, the Republicans have to do it too. You know, they have to come down and use votes. You know, she talked about 150 you know, years ago if a politician was to use the word folks and come down, they'd got railroaded out of town. But that's how dumbing down we got. So we've got to talk to people in third grade terms, which is sad. But in the debt, that deficit, I guess that's what we got to do, because people are so illiterate, it is pathetic. Okay, let's start. The history of this country, we had very little debt. A lot of people lived here. We didn't use much debt, but we did use some debt. I mean, we got funding during the Civil War, during other things. We, you know, we did use debt, but not massively. You know, we get into the theory of Keynesian economics, different, different out there, and I'm not going to do that. Because again, I'm talking real basic. Okay, in, try to take the politics out of it. Of course, World War I happened. We shut down this country and went completely into production for the war. So we ran the debt up the highest in the history of this country. So that's where I'm going to have to do the taking off starting point on the debt. We'll start it during World War I. Or excuse me, World War II. And we all know, I guess we do, we understand that debt during war times escalates. We're not producing goods, people aren't working, paying taxes in. That's how we that's how we pay for things in this country. We pay taxes. Okay. During the war, of course, people weren't working, they weren't paying taxes, we didn't have a revenue stream, we were producing nothing but goods, and the debt went crazy. So 1941, we'll start right here. 1941. 245, of course, it's WW2, the debt. Now, the difference between the debt and the deficit, the debt is the overall. Deficit's annual, debt is the entire accumulated. We're 13, approaching $13 trillion right now. Okay, the debt went crazy. Well, after the war came, we had this big prosperous time in this country, and this Middle class, we became the strongest middle class in the history of this world. Not just the United States, the history of the world. From 1945 to 1973, the strongest middle class in the history of the world. Okay, so the debt declined. So, you know, during Truman, declined. During Eisenhower, declined. During Kennedy, declined. During Johnson, declined. Harry Nixon declined. Harry Ford declined. Okay. Then, Harry Carter even declined. So, we're going to go to 1980. This is when this madness began. And Ron Ray has a funny, funny quote he used to say. He says, yeah, when they come to me and they says, we want some of these B2s. He says, I thought they were talking about vitamins. I says, give me a couple dozen. Well, in 1980, the debt took off. You come through here. Right. And uh, so we had 1.4 billion was the debt in 1980. Extremely, extremely low. Pretty well nothing. Well, the debt started to climb. So from 1980, we started climbing. We climbed up to about 93. Then the debt started going way down. Now, why did the debt go down in the late 90s? Let's talk about this. During the Clinton administration, 
Now we got to remember too, 94, the Republicans took the con took Congress. So we had a so-called Democrat president and Republican Congress. Now there's some debate about Bill Clinton. I mean, he did vote for NAFTA. I mean, people get all venomous about him being a liberal. I'm like, huh? He really was a liberal. He voted for NAFTA. Even George Bush won didn't vote for NAFTA. So, I mean, so I think our politics is cute. But the market went down. Be or the debt went down because of the stock market. The stock market was raging. Now, as people exercised their stock options, which hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people did, they were making huge scores of money. There was a huge tax break rate on that, paying it. That was one of the reasons. But, you know, we had very prosperous times in the 90s, and during prosperous times, the debt gets paid down. It was paid way down. Okay? So then we go to. 2000, the election of W. Oh boy. I don't care what your political views are on George W. Bush, not George H. Bush. Whole oh, different. Like night day. Okay. We had two wars. As we have two wars, debt climbs. Bottom line, debt goes up during wars. So from 2000, the debt has gone. Okay, now we have the Obama administration, we hear all this view, all out of control, spending, blah, 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 blah. Where was these people here? Okay, you're not just going to get a new president or a new Congress and flip a switch and this thing's going to turn around. It doesn't have to work that way. I mean, in 1941, we boomed up the debt. It took literally decades. It's going to take decades again. So, that's where we are on the debt. So, again, during the Clinton administration, the debt got paid dramatically down. That is a fact. But remember this. Rubin said this. Don't est <laughs> you know, don't underestimate luck. You know, and I don't know if that was luck or if it wasn't, but it was Republicans in Congress and it was a, a Democrat president. So I think both parties need to take the politics at its thing and get real about this thing. Now, the debt is declining ever so slightly right now as far as percentage of GDP. Now, whether we can handle that or not, we need an economy to recover economically. But we'll see how it goes forward. But let's remember where we came from. Let's, not, let's put this into context and not get completely insane about this thing and politicize this thing and go crazy about it. Let's get the facts straight.